Hi guys, welcome back to Corner Bedroom Watercolors. Today we're going to do a real simple um, uh, floral painting that you can actually turn into a plaque and uh, put whatever nice adjectives you like on it, like I, I show in the example. Uh, one of mine says peace, the other says solitude. It's sort of like making a homemade um, uh, print for somebody that you've, you've taken the time to uh, sort of describe your work. So these are just simple little flowers. We're gonna go in with some, some violet right in here, and I don't even know what kind of flowers these are. I'm just sort of making it up as I go. And I'm using a fan brush. Use whatever you like. And they're sort of scraggly looking flowers. Just like that. And for the next one, let's let's do it in a little different different shade here. Oops, let's pick up a little bit of wizard and crimson. The first one I do is just just a purple. And I'm just sort of scratching in just sort of weird wispy shapes like that, huh? All right, let's take this one, make it a little different color, but same same value basically as before. Just a little bluer. Okay, just like that. And believe it or not, guys, <laughs> that's about all we want to do with the flowers. So it's really, really simple. Now what I want to do is come in, and over that, I want to touch some yellow. Okay, and maybe that looks like this. So, a little stronger. Yellow in parts. Just like that. Not pretty. All right. Then what we need to do is we need to come in and put in some stems. So we're just going to make those sort of green. So I've got some sap green here that I'm mixing up. And we're just going to take and just draw them down. Now they're, they're fairly thick. Just like that. Do the next one. And how about one more? That's over this guy, huh? There we go. Now let's take and continue this up into here so it looks like it's got a little bit of a, you know, bud, whatever, on it. Just like that. Same, same thing here. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's put some some leaves on that. Okay, and I've just taken a little bit of brown in here, and I'm using a, a little tiny flat brush. Oops, if you get that, it's too much water. It's okay. Just blot your brush off. Try again. There you go. I'm just tipping him with a little bit of dark. That's all. This guy here too. Let's go. Say he's got one coming out like this. Sometimes you can leave stuff to the imagination. See that space in between the leaves? I'm just going to leave that. I think it's, you know, sort of exciting. And these, I don't know where they go. They just go. Put them wherever. But don't, don't make them too... You know, don't put them on the same spot on every single flower, because then they, they'll tend to look 
a little bit weird. Too, uh, you know, too static. Um, let's go ahead and take our liner brush. So we're going to give this a little bit of depth now. And I'm just highlighting. I'm just going into a little bit of Payne's Gray. Because I want that green. Just to have a little bit of contrast to it. Just like that. Same here. Doesn't really matter which which side you put it on. Just put put it so that you've got some contrast, huh? So it looks like there's you know like variegated flowers and such like that. Okay. Since you know since we do have our little green, why not why not just do a couple of touches, just random touches, in here. Just like this. Let's take our purple again and maybe run it up a little bit like this. Same thing here. Same thing here. All right. A little dark in there, huh? And then we can come in, if these lines are too pronounced, we can come in and just sort of fuzz them out a little bit. It's like we always do. There you go. Take a little bit of our yellow here. Maybe just a touch on here. Give it some sparkle. Alright. And finally, let's just go into a little bit of brown towards the stem part here. Okay, just like so. And I'm making this up as I go. I have no idea what these are. Isn't that pretty? All right. Now, what I'm going to do here, this is going to be a little different for us. But I'm just blending that brown in a little bit so it's not so stark. And right, I'm going to take my round brush and I'm going to go into some blue. I, in this case I'm using a thalo blue but whatever blue you got and watch this this technique. I'm going to go in and just create sort of a background but I'm going to scrape with the brush. I'm really not going to paint. So you see I'm leaving parts of the painting. See that? Sort of an abstract kind of thing. And that, my friends, is our painting. Very quickly, you add a word to it, whether you want to add the word peace, solitude, whatever you like. And, of course, we're going to sign it. We'll sign it in the thalo, like this. And there you go. Nice spot right up here for whatever message you want to put in. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.